guys, Ryan from Key Health here. Have you had a big fall on your wrist lately? Have you fallen onto an outstretched hand? Have you been playing a lot of racket sports or throwing sports and been getting a lot of pain through the side of your wrist here? A TFCC injury stands for triangular fibrocartilage complex. And basically what it is, it's a series of different ligaments and cartilage that help stabilize the wrist and also transmit force through the wrist during activities. Generally, you need to be in a splint for a decent TFCC injury for a period of three to six weeks. Then you'll go through a series of range of motion exercises in order to improve the wrist range of motion. This is the next step after that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you two different ways that we can do a rehab, the same rehab exercise. So basically, you can either use a dumbbell here, or I'll show you in just a second, just down below, we can actually use a TheraBand. Two different exercises. The first one is gonna be a wrist flexion exercise, and the second one's gonna be a wrist extension exercise. They're both really, really important because they both make up our grip strength, and they both make up the strength that will be around our wrist as well. The first one, is your wrist flexion exercise. So to do your wrist flexion exercise, set yourself up so you're kind of on a table that you can lean over, lean your wrist just off the side. And from there, what you're going to do is you're gonna let your wrist hang down into extension, and then you're gonna be flexing up like this. So the second exercise we're going to be doing is the complete opposite. So for this one, we're going to be letting our wrist flex down all the way and then coming up to the top into full extension. So for this exercise, we're going to be working the wrist extensors. And it basically, it's good to have both because both of those exercises are going to help strengthen the whole wrist and help with grip strength. The other way you can actually do these exercises is using a TheraBand. Therabands are nice and cheap and easy to use and you can get them from your physiotherapist or your osteopath. Basically for this one, you wanna hold a bit of tension in the band, tuck your elbow in, and to do the wrist flexes, basically you're just flexing your wrist in and extending it back like before. Nice and slow as you do the movements. The opposite one you can do for the wrist extensors. This one's a little bit harder to do and you might need to lock your thumb in just here same thing we're holding our wrist in and you're just extending your wrist back lightly and back to the start so whether you're using a band or you're using a dumbbell it doesn't matter the main thing that we're trying to do here is progressively overload and get stronger to do this we need to make sure we're having three sets of around about 10 12 repetitions with about 60 seconds break in between uh, once you get used to using the weight and it becomes easy, then it's really important that you go up in weights until you have actually equaled the same on both sides. And if you want any more information about the injury, just follow the link just down at the bottom here and it'll give you everything you need to know.